Happy Friday, Vikes. I'm Allie, and you're watching SVTV. Seniors, look at your Schoology page for scholarship opportunities. One Act Play auditions and the Washburn Tech placement test are on the 16th. The Writing Center opens on January 22nd. The Pep Assembly has been rescheduled to February 1st. Tonight's game theme is Blackout. Come out and support. Now over to Weatherman Josh with today's forecast. Well, Vikes, today is the big day. We're tracking a winter storm into the area a little bit later on. Rain already ongoing should become more steady and heavy through the remainder of the afternoon. So here's 3 p.m. We could begin to see the change over to snow as soon as 3 p.m. You see some little blips of blue. It's really going to depend on our temperature, whether this is falling as rain or snow. Either way, by 3 p.m., roads should just be wet as temperature is still a little bit above freezing at the surface. 6 p.m., we do expect this to be mainly snow. And at that point, roads beginning to get a little bit slick. Then 9 p.m. as you're heading home from the basketball games at Hayden, there could be slick roads continuing to develop as we're expecting moderate to heavy snow across the area by 9 p.m. tonight. Midnight now, yes, widespread heavy snow across much of the northern half of Kansas. And this will continue through the night, but by sunrise, becoming lighter and more hit and miss. So through the day Saturday, off and on, light snow showers will be possible. Then the Chiefs game at 3 p.m., looking like snow could continue throughout the game. However, not any sort of heavy snow, just light snow and probably not the most accumulation. Wind's going to be fairly light, around 10 to 15 mile per hour gust. So that's what the Chiefs game is looking at. And by 6 p.m., we expect that the snow should be exiting out to Missouri for the most part, leaving us with just a few flurries. So how much are we talking about? Here's our latest snowfall forecast, calling for anywhere from 2 to 5 inches. I'm leaning toward the higher end of this range, but if we do not see that change over until after sunset, that's when we would be looking at the lower amounts because the heaviest precipitation falls this evening. Let's take a wide view at this storm system. Winter storm warnings over towards St. Louis. There, they are expecting a foot of snow, but here, lesser amounts still, four or five inches, is certainly within the realm of possibilities. And now, for your SVTV seven day forecast, you can see that highs are in the lower 30s for this weekend. We may try to rebound to 42 on Thursday, depending on the amount of cloud cover. And you can see we cloud back up and cool back down for the second half of next week as highs return to the upper 30s. Now, Allie, back to you. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great weekend.